here's another story, another story out of Portland Community College of a professor who thinks exactly like the sons of bitches that my father fought against in World War II, the Nazis. Look at, look at this. Imagine everyone living in peace, Harrison said, building off John Lennon's famous song, Imagine. And how do we get to that good world is a question. A world without conflict. And to me, it's my interpretation of these words is that it will be a world or U.S. without whiteness in terms of the power structure, Harrison said, offering his own interpretation of Lennon's song. This son of a bitch, it's like I've said before, He is encouraging the final solution only for whites, not for Jews. For Harrison, the term whiteness is essentially social category into which whites belong. Now, this is hate. This is hate that makes a Nazi will make a Nazi blush with shame. As and as a social category, Harrison continued, is a group of people sharing in the common similar attributes, even if they have not actually met. So whiteness, white people will share a whole lot of things, even if they don't interact. And one thing they share is whiteness or white privilege, Harrison said. This is a sick, this is a sick, psychopathic piece of human garbage. Can there be a world without whiteness, a world in which white privilege doesn't exist? Harrison asks his audience. The answer is yes, we can because it's happened before and it revolves around individuals taking small steps to demanage, demolish the whole concept. In other words, he wants to line us up against the wall or put us in camps or something. This is a sick motherfucker. It's like I've said. My father fought against sons of bitches like this who think exactly like him. I mean, this dirtbag thinks exactly like the same people that my father was in the military to fight. No, my father, before anybody asks, my father survived the war. He never really saw combat, but he, he was in the army. The effort is working, Harrison said, whiteness is on the retreat, noting es estimates indicate whites will no longer be a majority in the United States by 2040-2050. In other words, they want to, uh, what the sons of bitches will first do is they'll try to make us into second class citizens, and then they'll probably break out the, uh, camps. It's hard to know. It's hard to sit here and be a soothsayer and say, "Well, I know what the future is going to be," but I can say that if some, if hate-filled bigots like this are allowed to proceed, this whole whiteness thing—if it's allowed to proceed—the results will be catastrophic, not just for the white race either. Now, the last time. I'm going to explain something here. I'm going to explain here's what the deal is. Listen close. Let's say you could go back in time and you knew what Nazis were going to do. And you got there early enough where you could warn people and tell them and stop the Nazis. Would you do it? Which is the more moral decision? To stop the Nazis or simply allow history to proceed? Well, I would think that any person would say that the moral decision there is to stop the Nazis before they could become a threat. Of course, I don't know what today's world would be like if we did stop them. But I do know it's going to be hell if sons of bitches like this are allowed to succeed. That's what I do know. 
the world that we know will cease to exist. The only issue with people like, scum like this, I'm not even people, scum like this will usher in a period of darkness unparalleled in human history. Hitler's thousand year Reich would be nothing compared to what uh, sons of bitches like James Harrison want to bring into the world. I mean, he's basically admitted he wants to uh, replace whites and destroy him. And he admitted it openly in the statement that I read. So for you to sit back and say, well, this is all just rhetoric, it's meaningless, no. And for you to say, well, these people are, have moral high ground, no, they don't. They're evil. They are as evil as you can imagine, and they have to be stopped, one way or the other. Now, as things stand right now, if people wake up, we can demand that the states simply stop funding this whole thing. I think college coming up with this whiteness stuff, simply stop funding them. Federal government and state government should get together and simply stop funding them. And the people have to demand this. It is a moral imperative. It is the only moral thing to do. This isn't about whites and blacks. See, uh, black people are not safe either. This is a political process I call scapegoating. Scapegoating is where you take somebody, you build them into an enemy, and what these scum are doing is they're building whites into an enemy. It could just as easily be somebody else. It could be Jews. They see uh, people are familiar with anti-Semitism, so these people have to walk on walk very careful when it comes to Jews, but of course, whites can be picked out and targeted much more easily. But just study Germany, uh, Hitler's Germany. It's the same rhetoric, these are the same people, they think exactly alike, Goebbels and Himmler, Hitler himself, so on and so forth. They think exactly like them, and they have to be stopped. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thank you for watching.